And 15 days to that big election, the 7th of December 2024. We are your election command center as always. Um, getting the latest up to the minute update also means that you have to go to 3news.com slash elections, get the latest update of that journey election day. And then also subsequently when the results are being announced, we are here to serve you. And uh, we've been doing a lot. And we also pray that when it comes to all the relevant issues that have been discussed, especially on our um, out broadcast content, Community Manifesto, for which now we're focusing on the women in Women's Manifesto, brought to you by Star Ghana Foundation, as well as um, all the relevant partners. You are in a great position to, as always, know that we will stand by you and you also need to do the same. We're cashing out. It goes with a short code, star 439 hash. As always, as you choose option A today, you should know that for the last uh, six weeks, we've been giving out 50,000 Ghana cities. And today we're going to give uh, the numbers uh, to the various winners in our draws. 5,000 Ghana cities, 10,000 Ghana cities in multiple sums as you become an ultimate lucky winner. So you choose option eight, star 439 hash. And I have to thank Elizabeth and Tema, Elis Couture, Tema Community 1 Side 3 for this beautiful outfit today. Let me also tell you, we're here to discuss a couple of issues. We have three IPPs already giving warnings, and we know that this is just uh, about three or four weeks or a month after Sunona Sogli also had raised issues about their um, money that needs to be paid in literal terms by the government of Ghana to them. And we know that that money is in excess of $256 million. Subsequently, we know that some 35, according to our sources, million of that, uh, that money has been paid to them. They've resumed. But again, just this morning, we're also getting that at least um, one of the IPPs out of the three seem to have shut down completely, one operating at 50% capacity. How do we uh, circumvent this just 15 days to this uh, big day, the election we have? But how do we resolve the issues in the energy sector? We have some great people helping us, uh, among them regulars. And um, let me just introduce them to you before we move on. I have George Money is joining us for the first time. I'm told that um, he is with the Western North Region MPP. Good morning to you, Mr. Morning. Good to have you. Uh, good morning. Uh, okay. Good but this is my second time being here. I think I've been that's, here that's to fair. discuss. That's fair. I didn't, uh, I didn't say that this is the first time, but I'm saying that we have you joining us. So that's sure. fair. That's fair. And then let me say good morning to Charles Bissu. Charles Bissu um, is standing as parliamentary candidate for the Isikado Kitang constituency on behalf of the MPP as well. And so, uh, and then also, lawyer. Apia Dankwa is a regular on the show, very astute gentleman, legal practitioner, long years standing. He's here. Good morning to you, Apia Dankwa. Morning. Great. You always have to wear yellow in there, right? <laughs> or oh, you didn't even take notice? But the, 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 the yellow is in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Kwame Jantwa, the son of the great Jantwa of the CPP and uh, also lawyer as well. Good morning to you, Mr. Jantwa. Morning, Roland. How are you? Ofa Kwame, nice to have you in the studio as well. Those I see good, that over the last two, three weeks, you've been in black. Any particular reason? Funerals. The funerals. Yes. Are you going again this weekend? Yes. Well, to, today, this, this after, after I leave here. Oh, you're going? Yeah. Well, certainly. So, now, let, let's tell you about how you need to step into the world of Dewa 539 for your chance to win big with Dewa Direct and Dewa Chop Money. Now, with Dewa Direct, you dial star 446 hash. You pick the range of the numbers 1 to 39. You also get to win big. So you're winning in multiples, 20 times your stake, 40 times your stake. Star, star 446 hash also will enable you to win 400 times the number of stake you undertake. And the draws are done every evening at 7 p.m., Sundays at 6 p.m. Early bets also love Dewa Chop Money. Again, at 10 a.m., the draw is done, but you have to dial star 446 hash. You choose a range of the numbers once again. Remember, 1 to 39, those are some of the numbers you need to pick within that range. You win big as well. You can also play online. Easy peasy. Dewa-NLA.com is your site. Please make sure you go there and let's see. Right, so... We'll quickly uh, we'll have to start. May, may, Mr. Moni, we're discussing the energy sector. You wanted to put in. Say something. Can I wish 
Samuel Apetepi Adam, aka Andani. A oh, happy Samuel birthday. Adam. Yeah, one of our lead sound yes, gentlemen. Yes, yes. He's a he's a very nice. Let's guy. wish him a happy birthday. Happy today. birthday to you, yes. Samuel Adams. Yes. And um, we wish you all the best. He's just right here. Sammy, how are you? Happy birthday to you. God grace your life as always. God so a great guy. Happy and strong. Yeah. But but Mr. Money, um, what because you communicate for government directly, are we being told? Communicates for the party. Fantastic. Why, why do we have the situation we have? Is it, it... You see, um, communicate for the party. I said I communicate, communicate for the party. Your government is in power. Oh, the government is in power. So, what's but the difference? It's, it, it's for clarity. I'm not a government spokesperson. It should be clear. Yeah. yeah. It should be clear. So I'm not. Government spokesperson can speak for government. No, 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 not at all. Not at all. And then. I uh, understand what you said. Yes, that there is a party and there is a government. I think the distinction will always have to be clear. Right, and then as I said, I communicate. I'm a I'm a regional assistant secretary. I am not a government spokesperson. Okay, okay. However, okay, however, okay. however, the NPP's um, 2024 manifesto committee on energy, I served as a secretary, and that this is actually my field that I play, of which you know because we've been we've been meeting on several fora, so you know. First I of all, with that. It's just yes, said, yes. First of all, it must be stated clearly that. Um, Government owning IPPs is nothing new, but the the statement that we are going to be plunged in darkness is absolutely not correct, mm -hmm. and that it is not happening. The NPP government have kept the power for eight years, and three weeks or two weeks to an, an election is not a time for us to be experiencing or to plunge the country into any darkness. This is so because we are not even experiencing load management, not to talk about load shedding. Mm -hmm. Right, the national wheelers being Gridco have not even given any indication of load management for for the retail comp or the distribution company ECG to even give an indication of a load shedding. Mm. So there is absolutely nothing like that happening. You see, energy powers the country, energy powers the economy, and then is the lifeline. Anything that is the lifeline of every economy has two distinct factors. You always have the economic bit, and then you always have the political bit. Fantastic. You always have the economic bit and you always have the political bit. Government indeed owes the IPPs. Government initially was finding it very difficult in paying the IPPs. For this reason, government in August 2020 brought a, me a mechanism called the cash waterfall mechanism to ensure that these people are well paid or they are paid as and when we consume power. Because when you look at the power value chain, we have the generators, we have the national wheelers, that is the transmission, we have the distribution, and then those are the retail end. So the money comes from the retail end and then pays all the people along the line up to the generators, who eventually also pay their, their, food, their, their people. Government instituted that so that any money that comes, everybody would receive as it does, or as a deal him. When I went to the PRC website and I wanted to check uh, how the cash waterfall mechanism have been implemented. I realized that indeed, as of July 2024, the committee is yet to meet and then to approve any, any source of finance to them. Mm -hmm. That is what I realized that was the main challenge that is causing these um, I don't understand. IPPs. The cash waterfall system is money that drops into a kitty. Yes. Into a and then so when you committee, pay, you, you appropriate no, appropriately. A, a committee then meets, and the committee then uh do the disbursement you can see this is the july one you can you can you can take a look at it this is the july cash water for mechanism even with this the review that is going on i have made several proposals because i do not believe that we need to separate category a and category b mm. where category a people are paid 70 percent of the amount that that comes mm. and then the category b being the state so is only say 30 percent i'm of the view that right from the right from the point of purchase mm. every money should go to should go to all each, the IPPs in equal proportion. Generator. Yes, each, each generator in equal proportion, not to distinguish among them, of which uh, the MPP manifesto clearly have captured that, and then we believe that digitalization or make, propo uh, proposing that solution is the way to go. As I was saying, the, for the country to experience load shedding, for instance, it means that the peak or the system's peak must be more than the power that we receive that the generators produce, that is the installed capacity. As we speak now, although Senor Assembly have sucked down, sucking down about 540 megawatts, 
we still have a buffer of more than 1,300, right? And that is why the country is not experiencing the darkness as we have to. This is not to say that they are not, they are not supposed to be paid, no. As I said, government owing the IPPs is nothing new, and government must always show continuous support and continuous... Um, so the question I ask you, why do they owe them, knowing that promises were made the first time the announcement was made? Mr. Money, why? They, why they, do they owe them? You see... Forget about know, the cash water fall system. The cash water fall plays, uh, uh, plays, plays a role. You cannot neglect that. You see, whatever power we consume, right, whatever power we consume at the retail section, the money we pay is what is used in paying all the actors, including these IPPs. Now, the problem arises... It's just like within the petroleum downstream industry. When these IPPs are buying products, I'm giving an example, buying products, they buy in dollars, meaning they buy their gas and all those fuel, uh, fuels in dollars. When they are trans the transmission person is doing the transmission, the wheelers are doing their work, it's calculated in dollars. Mm. When the distributors are doing it's calculated in dollars. But any time it comes to the retail section, it's always, it's always in CD, which means that there is always a forex differential, a forex loss. differential loss there. You understand? And then also, the amount, we've, we've seen ECG, I'm talking about the southern part, being the largest, uh, the largest distribution company, always complaining about MMDAs and then some individuals and some companies not paying their light bill as they used to. When those bottlenecks are, arise, it means that the money to, be, uh, to pay IPPs will not be there because you must pay what you consume. If you're not paying what you consume, then definitely there is going to be, there is going to be what? There is going to be a deficit, right? And then, when you read the cash water for mechanism, it says that wherever there is a deficit, then it means that the Ministry of Finance would have to show up. But we all know the current, the current circumstances that we find ourselves. What are the current circumstances we the find ourselves? Circumstances that we because find we collect the money. So oh, oh, what's the current we, circumstances? Mr. That is why I was showing an example that when you look at the projection that the, e, uh, the, EC, the ECG makes monthly and it's the estimated um, revenue generation, they don't get there. They are usually commercial losses. They are usually technical losses. They don't get. They don't use. To, they don't get the amount that they are supposed to get, and that accounts for those deficits. That accounts for those deficits. And so, if you are able to show up, or if you are able to meet the 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 revenue generation targets, then these IPPs are all going to be paid. And mind you, these the, the some of the debt happens to be in the form of um, uh, uh, legal uh, legacy debt. For instance, we read the IMF issue in January says that within that sector, government owes about 1.6 billion and it keeps accumulating all due to some contracts and all those things which have been signed that the government is still obliged to be paying. You understand? So those things have been going on for now. But as I said, what is important is government's commitment and government have shown enough commitment. I'm, I'm aware and I speak authoritatively authoritative on this, that I'm aware that the Minister of fi uh, Finance have met all these IPPs and I'm equally aware that the the the, uh, the the president or the chairman of the chamber of IPPs, Elikem, right, who said, who, who, um, who's, who's uh, uh, I think that he is the head of Sona Sogli and then the also chamber. The okay, chamber, the chamber of the, the that's chamber. Uh, Dr. Elikem. Uh, yeah, Dr. Yes, Dr. Okay. Elikem. Yes, uh, Dr. Elikem. Mm. I'm aware because when he was like, when he was asked that he should mention the three IPPs who are saying that he should shut down, mm. they, or they are going to shut down. He said that it remains confidential. Okay. It cannot be confidential because when Sun Asogli decided to go or to shut down their plant, it mm. was not confidential. They just came out and said they were going to shut down. So if these three IPPs indeed wanted to shut down, they would... They, they, but now, but now are you saying the chamber is lying? I'm not saying the chamber is so what lying. Are you saying? No, I'm just saying that his views perhaps might not refre reflect the views of all those IPPs within that chamber. That is what I'm saying. Right, and then I heard Institute of um, uh, Energy Security equally making or equally training that line. But I know, I know, I know them. They, they are head is even a meet a colleague of mine. We did it or Yes, he's a colleague of mine. And so when you look at the trajectory and then where the communications are coming from, that is why I said that there is always a political bit to energy consumption or energy production within every every nation. So when I look at those things coming up from there, mm -hmm. then I, I I just get the the whole thing that this is the politics aspect of energy. Perhaps are you saying not that the really the economic IPPs, aspect of are you energy. Saying, <laughs> the statement you're making, uh, Farichi, are you saying the IPPs mm -hmm. are playing politics as of now? No, I, when, I, when I began my submission, I said that I'm beginning, beginning it from two fronts, the economic bit and the politics out of it. You can never associate politics from energy globally. You mean you it cannot disassociate? Yes, it's always there. 
So Kennedy I ask is the corresponding pack. question. Are you saying that the IPPs, Omumia government, and I, I mean, no, is no, that no, what no, you are no, saying? No, they have to be paid what is due them. Okay. They have to so be paid what is due them. why do you then say that it's politics? But I am equally saying that we have a lot of IPPs. We have a lot. In fact, okay. out of the six IPPs, only one has shut down. And I'm saying that the person who said that his views does not reflect the other five. I'm talking about the category A, not even bring the SOEs, the state-owning uh, uh, IPPs, mm. does not reflect the views of the others. Mm. The one that shut down said that he wanted some $60 million, which is on record, and government through the Ministry of Finance and then ECG were unable to meet it. So he decided to shut down. And I'm saying that Although he shut down, the others are also operating, which means that they indeed have confidence in government that indeed they are owed. But through the cash water form mechanisms and then through the other ways that government is, 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 uh, is pursuing, they are going to be paid. And what is important is that they get paid. For instance, I always have this analogy I normally give that when I owe you, when I owe you, let's say, 10,000 cities, right, and then I give you. 10 pesos every day, 10 pesos every day. You, only, you always have confidence that indeed you want the 10 CD that I owe you, I am going to pay. Mm -hmm. That will be, you will treat me quite different from somebody who you owe 10 CD and doesn't pay you anything. And as I speak now, the cash water for mechanism, no, no matter the, the revenue that accrued, everybody gets a share. And I believe that is enough commitment for them to operate within the space. Well put. Uh, Mr. Monida, let me just introduce you, Mr. Manuribe. Is it Manurebe? What's your first name? It's Manurebe. Manurebe. Yes. The first name is what? Richard Manurebe. Richard. Richard, yeah. welcome. Thank you. Very um, well. Gleaning from what Mr. Money is saying here, um, we seem to have a, a forex differential. It also means that how well we're able to stabilize the city has a direct impact on the money that we generate and onwardly be able to pay the IPPs, irrespective of whether we have a cash waterfall system, right? Certainly. So there's a, there's a monetary policy issue and the fiscal policy issue as well. Certainly. Um, Roland, uh, let me say good morning to you and good morning to my children. Man, man, and my friends, good friends all around, yeah. they've been very good friends of mine. But it's just John Dramani Mahama, the incoming president of the Republic of Ghana, say, I say good morning to you and a good job we have been doing. Roland, the good people in Quantash South is also watching you today and say good morning. Your constituency is in Quantash South. South, yes, right. and Oti Regional as well. Mm -hmm. Roland, you ask whether it's monetary and policy problems, that is what's causing the problem. Roland, if you really listen to the ranking member of Energy, Mines and Energy, John Jinapo, mm -hmm. has clearly told Ghanaians that the, this looming situation was going to happen, and the major problem was about monetary issue. Mm -hmm. That's Sika Duete, was the major problem that this the, the the MPP government is talking about money. Also, clearly talks about um, that there will be political aspect of it, and there will be what technical aspect of it. But he refused economic, economic aspect. Mm. He refused political and economic. economic. He refused. Because to what he's trying to say is yes. that if you make a decision as an IPP to reduce or even shut down, it has you should be cognizant of the political implications in these times. So well, we're just fifteen when, days when, to the when cognitively means what? Well, we all know energy is power. And power is ability to do work. We all we agree with that. So when you talk about being cognizant and the timing, if you listen to um, is it the, the chamber, the chairman of the chamber, told us categorically, people shouldn't think that the situation is about being sabotaging the government. It's about being operational and getting financial support to be able to power the timeout. And that's the reality on the ground. Well, we all know that even if you recall, in 13th September 2024, mm. President John Drama, Dramani Mahama have to intercede on the behalf of the, 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 the country. And that the uh, IPPs were going to close down their time out. President John Dramani Mahama made a clear indication of telling Ghani, uh, the MPP government that we have been able to secure 14 billion from ESLA. You recall, 40 billion for ESLA. And IPPs, how much are we owing them? I think as it stands now, government of Ghana owes them close to uh, 1.4 billion. For the IPPs, 1.6 1.6 billion for IPPs. And you look, if you look at Asogle, Asogle alone uh, uh, provide uh, across the south, south down with about 560 megawatt that's supply in this country. And other three, three term, term, uh, independent power producers are also going. Well, the, the reality of the matter is that if government is most insensitive to ordinary Ghanaian and doesn't consume much and think about the basic needs of electricity, we we'll have not gotten to where we are. The major problem is that government has not even taken a critical look at it. 1.6 billion that you owe 
uh, 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 IPPs? How do you think they can be operational? And do you know they'll have to pay their workers? Do you know they have to make sure they, they, they power the thermal with gas? I don't think, um, Mr. Jantua, you are best. Uh, they use gas to, to, to power their plants. And so uh, they don't generate uh, this. They have to go to Ghana Gas Company Limited and other uh, uh, producers of gas to be able to power the plants. So if, as a government, you don't invest more, you don't even look at how you'll be able to power or pay off the IPPs, we'll get to Grand Zero as where we are. Mm. Mona, Mona is talking about that. Where are we? That we don't really see what is happening. I can tell you that we have gotten to a situation where that government is trying to manage and massage the situation of the... Uh, so uh, how of can the, you say that? No, no, but, but, you think because election is looming, no, that's why? Absolutely. You can you recall the, the minister of uh, the finance minister in the Washington. He was even telling Ghanaian, warning us ugly, that they can't decide from there and nobody can sabotage them. But Roland, the reality is that if you don't pay me to be able to op do operational operationalization of my sector, how do I operate? Now, we have nine in uh, independent power producers in this country. We are told that by the end of this week, today is Friday, four is also going to shut down. So it's going to be, three is going to shut down. So that will be four independent power producers. And the independent power producers produce about 400 megawatts of electricity in, in this country. So just imagine if three is to be able to shut down, where are we as a nation? So it will be more dangerous in the doom so that we, we are even anticipating. So I will urge government and urge the, the, uh, the, the President of the Republic of Ghana and the Minister of Energy, including the uh, Minister of uh, Finance, to, be, to quickly release money for them. You recall the, 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 the arrangement they had with the Asogli. They even defaulted it. And Asogli have to come out crying foul. Up to now, Asogli is not operational. So I think that the, the, the monetary aspect is not political. It is just the responsibility of government to do what they are due to do. And if they do that, I don't think we'll be sitting here today and be discussing over the energy sector. The Doomsaw is there today. The Doomsaw has come just because government has consumed more and has, not, has refused to pay the IPPs, IPPs. And that's where we have gotten to where we are. So Mona, I, it's not political. I think it's, a, it's quite an economical issue, and they need to be operational. They need to get some finances to be able to support their power plant and then they, they move. And that's where we are, I think so. It's... You're very so, popular. <laughs> You're getting calls all over. Absolutely. Mm. It's a, it's a... Please try to mute the phone for us. You, you've ended. But, uh, we're back again. And the subject is that if we take a critical look at the sector and then the concerns that have been raised, by the IPPs to the point that now they have to shut down, knowing that power is critical. And just like Moni said, if you make that decision, it becomes a political issue, even though you're, you're not a political entity. So ideally, what should have been the perhaps the position of the, uh, the IPPs? Should, should they have gone the <coughs> other way, maybe go for some LTs and be borrowing money and be, and be powering the plants? Let me wish your viewers, your lovely viewers, a good morning. Wish my brother Manuri be uh, 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 always a pleasure to meet him. And you guys have been meeting. He's my friend, uh, and uh, money here. Uh, a good morning. He's also your friend. Uh, money is here. Money. I, I, I know him. I, I used to be in his party. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you are coming. Uh, my big brother. <laughs> my big brother. Uh, Kofi Jantua. Kwame. Uh, Kwame Jantua. Sorry. Kwame. Uh, Kwame uh, in fact, Roland. Yes, sir. I am scandalized to be sitting here speaking about energy in 2024. Energy issues in 2024. Uh, I think George Money did a good job in, as in giving us a historical antecedent to uh, the issues. Um, factually, a lot of the things he said were right, uh, except that because of his position, he's where he's struggling to give a, a perspective that will criticize government. Mm -hmm. You see, beyond the, you know, he, he mentioned the cash water oh. for mm -hmm. uh, mechanism. Also. That mechanism came out after government spent money to do what we call the energy sector recovery program. ESLA. Not ESLA. So there's ESLA and there's also energy sector yeah. recovery yeah. program. Yeah, you understand? So, uh, uh, yeah, you understand? Now, ESLA is Energy Sector Levy Act, which levied some monies on four consumptions, all with the aim of dealing with the legacy debt. Now, when Danado became president, he, he thought it wise to uh, leverage on that to raise bonds, as an all with the aim and purpose of paying off those le legacy debts. Mm. Then beyond that, they spent our money, and rightly so, 
to undertake a program, an energy sector recovery program, whose focus was to find a permanent solution to our energy sector programs. Mm. And indeed, they projected that with the, having identified the problems and having preferred solutions by 2023, by 2023, the energy sector will become viable. What that simply meant was that the cost of producing energy mm. eh, won't mm -hmm. be more than the cost, of, won't, won't be more than the revenue they generate from the sale of those energies. Is that right? Am I right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, that was, that was what Eddie, Eddie, Eddie told us. So why are, are we here? At the beginning of, the, of that energy sector recovery program, our debt, the energy sector debt stood at uh, around 2.7 billion USD. Mm. Today, the debt in the energy sector is standing at one point, about one point, almost, almost 2 billion USD. In fact, the World Bank projects that by 2025, the debt will go up by, tw uh, by up to $8 billion. So, would I be wrong if I say that, like, it is the case in the Galamse issue? Like, it is the case in, in, in how the economy has managed. You're saying how you manage the economy has a direct impact on Like, it is the case in the Galamse battle. Like, it is the case in how the economy has been managed. We are where we are because of a fundamental lack of commitment by people we've given our powers to, to give leadership. That's all. Yeah, 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 because it's not like, you see, when you are faced with a problem, as in, it could be that you don't know. Yeah, 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 you understand. This is not a, an issue of we don't know. You spend the state's money to go into why we consistently have issues in our energy sector. You've recognized that the biggest issue we have in the energy sector is one of financial inviability. You've preferred solutions, you, 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 you understand. So, so let me give you an example. Mm. So when ECG sells the energy, because you should recall that majority of us private people, they take our money before we even use the energy. It is prepaid. Yeah. It's not like, it's, it's not it, majority of us. Now, in spite of that, they are telling us that every year, ECG makes a loss of 180 million USD because of their inability to collect now, out of that $180 million shortfall, eh, $150 million of those arise from their inability to collect from the ministries, the departments, and the agencies. $150 million, $150 million constituting about 80% of the entire loss. So, is it the case that the government wants to borrow us abroad? Because, they, because beyond everything else, they take our taxes too. So why not? Why why is government refusing to pay for the man uh, for the electricity they use? Two. They also recognize that part of the problem arises from technical and uh, technical losses. Yeah, you understand? System losses. system losses. Now that constitutes about twenty three percent of the entire loss. You, 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 and, and you see, you've recognized this. We are in twenty twenty four. What have they done about it? What 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 have they done about it? And maybe he's here so he can he can explain. Yes, I can, I can, I can, I can so you no, so when you get but to for government. You see, I uh, there's <laughs> knowledge. I, I yeah, think yeah, beyond yeah, just yeah, communicating yeah, for parties, yeah, 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 we yeah, have yeah, personal yeah, knowledge. Yeah, 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 so at the end of the day, in spite of the energy sector recovery program, in spite of all the beautiful solutions in those programs, in spite of a projection that if they we we apply mm. the solutions mm. in, in 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 that program by 2023 would the energy sector would have come to a financial viability so it means that we shouldn't be having this conversation in the first place so why are we having this conversation why 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 have we, and, and and the person who fundamentally was placed in charge to supervise and undertake this program mm. wants to be a vice president you mean dr maundu yeah? no the person placed in charge to undertake to supervise the energy sector recovery program, Vice President Shah Kandit Napu. As Minister of Energy. Yeah, wants to be Vice President of Ghana. 
And I'm saying that the reason we are where we are is a fundamental lack or deficiency in leadership. It's not because we are incompetent. It's not because we don't know the problem. We've not recognized the problem. It's not because we've not recognized the solution. Because my brother here, Kamita, talks about the foreign exchange issue mm -hmm. as one of the reasons. Now, who caused them? Now, who caused them? Why the city 17? Yeah, now, who caused them? Now, now who caused them? Because, you see, we have placed the management of the economy into your hands. The president, in 2015, espoused the principle of the hatterization of the city. The, the principle of the hatterization. Have you forgotten? And see, deny hatter, hatter. Okay, okay. I, I get your point. Mm. See, deny hatter, hatter. What are those invectives for? Yeah, in, in fact, if they, are, they are not invectives. I'm just quoting what the president said. Because my brother here says that one of the fundamental problems why there's debt is because of the forex issue. So then we need to interrogate why there's why, the forex issue in the first place. Why are we at 1 to, to 17? 17? Because that's one of the problems that is causing the problems in the energy sector. Now who cause them? Now who cause them? When you spend about 5 billion on NAPCO and spend 400 million Ghana cities on 1D1F, because we understand that one of the fundamental strategies in dealing with the forex issue is a strategy that will what? Expand exports. So who costs them? Because you control our fiscal policy. You control where government puts its money. You put 400 million Ghana cities in one of your transformational programs and 5 billion in NAPCO. So who costs them? To create jobs. So. And also to also expand exports. Who costs them? Because it's you, the government, you, the president, and your vice. You determine where you put our state resources. Yeah, you understand? It's not about just drafting the policy. Where do you put your money? Yeah, you understand? So, so it be their cause. They cause this problem. <laughs> their, their, their lack of commitment in delivering leadership that impacts the lives of every single Ghanaian is the reason for why we are where we are. And, and, and so when in spite of this Koshoko leadership. Koshoko leadership. Ah. You haven't heard the vice president, who is also the presidential candidate of the ruling party, say on campaign platforms, especially his recent ones in the Ashanti region, that the economy is rebouncing, has been managed well. He said that if the fundamentals are weak, the exchange rate will do what? Where's how much? Ah, the president said when one dollar was to two cities, that one dollar, two cities, he would have expected, he would have expected the then president Mahama to have resigned. He said that. But the juice, the, the, the sweetness of power, the envelope under the table, that's why Mahama isn't resigning. At that time, it was one dollar to two cities. And that is one dollar to 17 cities. Why hasn't he resigned? That was his premise. His premise is that because one dollar was two cities, Mahama didn't resign. And the reason why he didn't resign is because of the fat envelope. Under the table, I'm not the one saying this. It's the president who said that. Today is one dollar to 17 cities. One dollar to 17 cities. One dollar to 17 cities. Let this register. It's one dollar to 17 cities. Why hasn't he resigned? And my brother here is telling me that one of the fundamental reasons why we have the energy problems is because of issues to do with first. As if issues to do with first is uh, what was called act of God. Yeah, as if issues to do it first is act of God. You, you, you understand? So you see, when we are where we are, because of a fundamental deficiency, a Koshoko leadership, mm, and these same people, having failed to resign, like the president said, <laughs> show gross disrespect to the people of Ghana, to the intelligence of the people of Ghana, and say that we should make them, we should give them the opportunity to lead. In spite of their radical and fundamental deficiency in leadership, then for me, they, they, it's, it's a slap in the face. And so you see, we have, we are two weeks away. In two weeks, that, that's a fateful Saturday, which will represent under Independence Day. Let us go and vote for Ghana. Let us go and vote for Ghana. We are talking about doing so. Uh, yes, I'm saying that the doing so problem is a leadership yeah, problem. Bringing voting. Yes, because it's a leadership problem. Are you, are, are you not following that, what I'm saying? That is a listen, listen. I know my time is passed, just one minute. 
to wrap this up, I said, having taken time to undertake this economic, uh, 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 energy sector recovery program, having beautifully identified the issues and preferred solutions, solutions that I do not disagree with, you understand? And a projection that if they follow the solutions, to the, the, they themselves have preferred to a letter, by 2023, mm. we would reach financial viability. And having failed radically, deliberately failed radically, mm, against the forex issue my brother here brought, an issue they created. The Nanadu and Baumia government created. Although they came to four cities, now it's 17 cities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's something fundamentally wrong. Mm. For you then to have the temerity to tell me that I should hand over power back to you is a slap in my face. I'm saying that come 7 December, the people of Ghana should go and vote for Ghana. And that vote for Ghana will be a vote for Anabo Alan John Kojo Chemantin. Let us save our country Lord, from the hands Lord, of 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 Lord, of Lord, of Lord, As of this morning, we know that Asogli and Amandi are totally off. And from our sources, there's every indication that car power has also drastically reduced load from their usual 450 megawatt production to 52. Something has to be done quickly. Good morning. What do you say? If morning. you campaign on a particular premise of digitalization, forgetting what underpins digitalization, then you are deceiving the people of Ghana. What do you mean? Explain. What does what underpins digitalization? Isn't it power? Isn't it energy? Without power, without energy, digitalization is through the window. And so, in terms of campaigning on an issue like digitalization, you've got to tell us how energy is going to be stable for us to be able to use what it is you're bringing in with regards to digitalization. Look, for me, I believe that the energy sector should not be politicized. Mm. It affects everybody. It's like blood in your body. Without blood in your body and without oxygen helping the blood to go through your body, you're a dead man mm. or you're a dead woman or you're a dead goat, whichever. Mm. And I said dead goat because I want to show that animals too are blood in their body. If you do not look at the energy sector, that is the first point of call. So what are the issues? The energy sector has got to do with funding, has got to do with debt, has got to do with availability of finance, has got to do with the cash waterfall mechanism, mm -hmm. has got to do with collection, and also has got to do with the exchange rate. Okay. How do we fund the energy sector? And I would like a situation where we will stop the politics. MPP says this, NDC says this, Movement for Change says this, CPP says this. Forget all that. Let's have a plan, a 20-year plan for energy, where any new government that comes in sticks to that plan. Other countries have done it. South Korea have a 20-year plan so for energy. Of which party is in irrespective power. of which party is in power. Because energy is, is fundamental to everybody. Everybody is fundamental. Most of all, we need to be able to sort out ECG and what we expect ECG to do. Look, where ECG is concerned, the forex losses eh, mm. on ECG's ability to fulfill its financial obligations is challenging. Mm. Very, very challenging. The discrepancy between the PURC exchange rate eh, and the Bank of Ghana's rate results in significant losses for ECG. Let me give you an example. In, in July 2024, ECG paid WAKO 3 million CDs. July 2024. The Ghana CD equivalent recorded it as 48 million. Hmm? 
48 million. PURC recorded it as 43 million. And when you do the calculation, there are huge losses in there. Mm. And the fuel that, million. yes, the fuel that ECG is buying is not in the cash waterfall mechanism. So who accounts for that loss? The cash waterfall mechanism, as the World Bank has rightly said, should be looked at and done properly. Everybody's debt should be able to be covered. And it sinks down to collection of revenue. Sometimes, yes, it's a leadership problem. But sometimes leadership does not know how to handle the challenges that the energy sector faces. Look, I heard Dr. Baumia say, uh, we are going to make sure that when we come in, solar becomes primary. Wh why Dr. Baumia? What has he done to you people? Uh, he hasn't done anything. He's in power. He's, He's in president. power. Oh, please stop that. Stop that. He's not the president. He's not the president. Is he not part of the team? He's not part of the is president's team. Also oh, wait, 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 wait. I say, is he not part of the president's team? Would you baby back home? He is part. Would you baby back home? Management team. Of course, collective responsibility. Hey, that, is that, that is it. That is it. Then, 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 wait, wait, wait. Because what I'm saying is pricking him. He's pricking him. That's why he's doing what. Yes, he's pricking him. Please. So he's trying to. He's trying to. have patience. He's trying to tell me that when Vice President Baumia speaks to the president about certain issues. The president is so stubborn that he won't listen. Is that what he's trying to tell How me? do you make those deductions? Uh, but but that is what he's saying. I haven't said That's what he's saying. He said what? He doesn't make decisions. What is the use of a vice president? Are you not there to advise your, your boss? So if you see things going wrong, will he not advise the president? And he's saying that the president is stubborn. He will not take it. The energy sector situation, huh? through this fourth republic has been a problem and as president so okay let me pack uh, uh, uh Baumia aside as president you realize that the energy sector in this fourth republic with all the various doom so it has caused mayhem for us what do you do what do you do and in your own term you tell us that oh yes we've been able to handle the energy sector well fair fair let's give that to them is there no doom so me, I slept in darkness. Two days. Ah, which area? West Legon. Uh, Two days. And the, the, the new thing is that now is the, the appliances. They switch that off. Fluctuation here, fluctuation there. It's all worse. There's nothing good about it. I heard this morning you congratulating the press. It's worse. Doomso is doomso. <laughs> I was only doomso, being sarcastic. Doomso is doomso. Some people won't take that sarcastic sarcasm. Well, uh, I would you know that. Doomso is doomso. <laughs> And so, as president, and this is what, and this is, and this is what I say. Eh? And you see, when I talk about the president, it's not that I don't like him more. But people think I don't like. He's my friend. But the fact is that he has been there in my father's time. He has been there in uh, Rollins time. He has been there now. He's one man who can, who knows the challenges of this country. And you know Dumsa has been a problem. What do you do? Do you not call a national dialogue and say, my people of Ghana, energy is key. As president, I want us to have a situation where energy is concerned. We all are singing from the same hymn sheet. This is what we should do. Let's all come together and do it for energy. If you won't do it for anything. A national en plan. Energy where alone. Where we all commit. Energy alone. Dr. Baumia is talking about solar. And that he would make sure that solar becomes quite prevalent. Does he know what does he know what it takes to bring solar in? Does he know the taxes on solar? Does he? Can solar really, can solar really handle industrialization? Can he? Do we not have hmm, a nuclear agenda? Do you not have a nuclear agenda? Nkrumah even starts. Uh, do we not today? Do we not have a nuclear agenda? Which of the Flag bearers have even mentioned that agenda. That is going on. The Americans are very interested. The what you call the South Koreans are very interested. Quite a number of countries are interested. We are now uh, short shortlisting even the, the are even the Chinese are getting in. The, and you talk about solar. When you can have, have eh? you seen Dr. Baumia is jumping. Again. Have you seen him talk about nuclear? 
the cost of nuclear in terms of tariffs is cheap. It's like water. Has he talked about it? And he's deceiving the people, telling that we'll give you solar everywhere. Have you been able to do it whilst you were in power? He's deceiving, deceit. Uh, has he been able to do it? The things he talks about, has he even started here in power? Is he outside power? Is he outside power? Is he not in power? And even if you say solar, wouldn't it have been a good idea eh, to, to even start and let Ghanaians see that you are serious about what you are saying, to say that, look, whilst we are in power, we tried as much as possible to move conventional power from residential to business so that with residential, we can start the solar uh, 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 bid. How many residential houses in Ghana today have solar? If it was easy, wouldn't they do it? Will they not do it? With the buyback plan. With the buyback plan. Is it in place? You come to deceive us to tell us that you're going to do solar. The 2,000 megawatts. You cannot do it. You mean by your experience, not Is possible? Is it easy? We are talking money. We are talking money. The energy sector is finance. Finance. Gas. Eh? Which is supposed to propel our energy. Have we done exploration to production in eight years so where's the gas going to come from do today do we not have stranded gas you isn't mean, it, you mean capped gas yes well it's, it's stranded it's in the ground we are not using it but gas is what is what uh, power, power at the 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 the, the 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 plants so you need to be constructive in what you say for people to trust and believe what you say. Okay. If we are going to use gas, let's use gas and let's make sure gas is available. We need to look at the debt. We need to. So, for instance, Tema Oil Refinery. Tema Oil Refinery. We, ECG, buy fuel in uh, to help with managing the, what do you call it, the... Uh, the the generation plants. It, Don't we have the oil refinery? Don't we have our own oil? Are you saying that if we were to put the oil refinery back to where it was, we wouldn't have to use foreign uh, 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 because we play ball with it. It comes to affect us. Energy is key. Energy is something that we need to look at and look at holistically as a country, not as a political party. Well, so we currently have information on the system units, meaning that the system condition or the generation currently has been recorded. So we'll take you through. As at 7 a.m. yesterday, The capacity, ideally, we needed by way of the demand should have been in excess of 3,000 megawatts. And according to our sources within the energy sector, based on the system conditions, as at 7 a.m. yesterday, we're only able to produce 2,803 megawatts of power. In excess of 3,000 is needed, usually 3,300, 3,500, it depends. And, and I'm told, based on what Laya Jantua and the rest of those in the sector tend to say is that the demand periods are always during the day. Mm -hmm. And then in the evening when we need the light to sleep, etc. It will also mean that uh, we need to rack up the production. Now, so, it, so, so this morning, as we're here talking, we have the 7 a.m. report. 7 a.m. report. And again, and again, Whilst we needed over 3,300 megawatts of power to be stable, at least, just to be getting localized one or two, not the current experiences of the three hours, the four hours we're getting, and the low voltage. As of 7 a.m., our sources within the energy sector are saying we're only producing again 2,860 megawatts of power. It gets even more interesting. So if you take a look at the table before you, you'll find that Asogle is zero. Total load, megawatt is zero, as ugly, zero. Already, Siemens has been zero for a very long time. Zero production. You take T3, zero. Usually when we're in difficulty, then we'll call in Bui Solar. So we have five megawatts. 
when you also trickle down, you find that Amandi, just like the way we have been telling you this morning, Amandi is zero. You go down a little bit, just go down a little bit with the Kessa, you'll find a zero. So you find Axel Amandi zero. And we're told that the implications are that car power is even now operating below capacity, far below capacity, below even 20%, 52. That's a concern. Mr. Money, <laughs> you're here, and, and uh, already I'm getting um, uh, or, or the, the concerns that are being raised, that the payments are not coming to the IPPs. Mm -hmm. The Ministry of Finance, which make the promises and then does the negotiations, is not telling them when it intends to pay them. It's the money. <laughs> when? Because the basic thing is they need their money, their kudi, to be able to buy the fuel and generate for Ghanaians. Yeah. What are you getting? I know you have yes, Ministry of yeah, Energy, because, Cash Water for... Because I have issues with the table you just presented. No, no, no. Before, before that... Are you please, saying that we are lying? I'm not saying you are lying. I said I have issues. That okay. I have issues. I have issues. You see... I have no that, issues. Before, this, this, these are system no, conditions. Be, we... Before I go, I go into that, I want to encourage my, my senior man here to read the NPP manifesto. If you read the NPP manifesto, page 179, you will know the NPP's promise for nuclear energy. Already we are at the we are at the point of choosing the technology to use, whether to go the US way or the Chinese way you to select a vendor. If he you takes his time to, to read our manifesto, no, no, you'll no. get to know what we are me. doing. I secondly, said, is Dr. Bonnier the secondly, about it? Is it your manifesto? Secondly, is he about this is the so what is this, this is for? this is Please. this is Bonnier's commitment to the people of Ghana. This is his commitment to the people of Ghana. When you read it, you will know all the things that he wants to do for the people of Ghana. The second thing is also to tell him that when we say that we, we want to bring in 2,000 solar energy, right? If he really understands, I know he understands it, he would know that we have many grids and off grids as far as solar is concerned. This is also even good, this is even a private led stuff. For instance, if government decides, government decides that if you take the whole of Legon, it, cons it consumes, let's say, 38 megawatts of power. But when you check their, their lighting system, only their lighting system consumes 15. So, okay, let's put all those 15 megawatts of power on solar energy. It creates a deficit as far as those from the, the base load and then the thermal energies are concerned. That is what he's talking about. And then also, as the philosophy of the NPP, everything that we do is private-led. Everything that we do is private-led. He's talking about tax, but of course, when these things have to be done, definitely the tax reforms and the tax, the, the, the tax things around it would have to be reviewed. Now, back to your topic. I know that um, the car power, I know that they are operating at 15% due to an operational problem because uh, they have a faulty valve of which they've contacted the Ghana Gas Company and that the engineers are already in town to go and fix it. Also, Amandi gave an indication of their shutdown long before this, uh, this uh, Dr. Elikem spoke about uh, the power, the power, the power, the financial issues within the, that they are going to shut down. And it was due to planned maintenance, planned maintenance. So already all those things have been factored in. And as I was saying, uh, uh, I hear people talk about, um, uh, my brother was alluding to some, some statistics as far as Forex is concerned. See, in 2013, Ghana's total size of our economy. What's you haven't answered my question, no. so let me repose my question. Perhaps <laughs> no, no, maybe no. that's. No, no, no. Uh, I have. Um, I, so I the don't question know, I, I asked you, how you want me based to, on based I, on the I don't know how you want you, me to answer because I have told you. Okay. I have so told the you. Ministry of Finance. I have told. We you. know that over the period has been meeting the IPPs mm -hmm. and making promises. I'm saying that mm -hmm. for this latest deductions we have to make based mm -hmm. on what they are producing and what the what the demands are. Mm -hmm. When would they be paid? And at I'm, least advanced no, payment no, no. so that we know when that you, when we're going to have when stability. You, when you were speaking, when you initially, before we started, you said that the Ministry of Finance have made some $35 million payments to these IPPs out of the 260 that they owe them. So where was that coming from? As far as the ministry is concerned, the ministry will keep uh, doing its, its, its obligation as far as those payments payments are concerned. Now back to the table you, 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 you showed. I do not know the source, the source of that table. Honestly speaking, 
and then as a, a researcher, are you disputing the source of the table? These are within the these are field. what they call I would the always want to see the source. That is I would always want to see the source of that table. Once I do not, I do not see the source. I can never speak to the authenticity of so that. Table. I'm not saying you're lying. I okay, said, okay. Answer, answer my question then. Which, when, when would they be paid? Your in several forms. Yes, so when would no, they be paid? Have, the current, the current that we have. When, when would they be advanced have, money? I have told you that the Ministry of Finance is meeting them. The cash water for team is sitting, and then be, uh, payment that is due everyone would be paid. As to the exact timeline, as today or tomorrow, I cannot tell. But I know that they are doing it. And I've also stated that a car power operating at 15% has nothing to do with finance. It is an operational issue, it's a technical issue, which has to do with a faulty valve. They have reported the matter to G Ghana National Gas Company, and the engineers are there working on it. These are factual. That is why I said that, you see, for energy, for, for when you understand the energy bit, you always understand the political undertone within the ener energy, within the, within the energy sector. You understand? You always get to, you always have to get that. But also, let me clarify this. You see, when I was speaking, and then I, I said that power, as far as the revenue collection was concerned, my brother here was saying that what were the measures that we've instituted? You see, we, the, we brought something we call the boundary metering system. The boundary metering system, it's, let me give you a, a practical example. No, I'm speaking to the issue. I am speaking to, I don't know what you want me to say. You have two minutes. You understand? I don't know what, we, I'm not singing your tune. That is why you are not, yes. You see, the boundary metering system, let's say if the whole of TV3, you have, you have let's say, uh, a transformer. There will be a meter there to calculate the amount of power that comes. And then also we will be able to, when you know you are receiving, let's Ceremony. say, 5,000 We don't have light. You are thinking of a boundary metering there system. There is no doom song going. When we say, that, why, why is doom so? My brother here was talking about he having uh, uh, issues. Of course, the fact that we, we have a power in excess does not mean you are not going to have uh, some places, some lights going off. But when those happen, that's, have he called the ECG? Because EG, ECG, as I was talking to, I was just looking at, at I was just looking at the horse page where they give daily updates as to areas where they have fault and as to areas where the faults are coming from. They do, they do, they, 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 they do, they do give those things. So has he reported those matters to the ECG? Let's be factual in our presentation. You understand the fact that perhaps our quest for political power or our quest to promote. Uh, uh, political somebody's political agenda that's not me we should not stick to the fact we should stick to the fact we should always stick to the fact that is what that is what is important and the fact is right and the fact is that we are not experienced any doom so anywhere the doom so that we experience under john mahama is that this doom so that we have been operating last time i was operating an fm station at, at my at my at my constituency is that vision, vision, right. vision fm right. still there. Right. so i have so, to so i have to we are, workers we are, because we are, of that so. the system condition no, we need to be factual yes. Yes. we need to the be very factual is showing that i mean we we have 500 deficits even if we want to do the stability and there's a critical we are not oh, there's, a, there's a there's a critical issue about how do we need to make sure we show up because to show up also means that you need to advance or make those promissory notes to the IPPs. What would be your best advisory? Roland, it's, it's just simple. We all know that the nine in the IPPs pro produce 400 megawatts of energy to the country. Roland, Asogli is zero as it stands, it stands now. Siemens is zero. T3 is zero. Amandi is zero. Even Pong, Pong is one. And even we that we rely on as buffer is five. So why do you sit here and tell us that? No, the solar. The solar. That, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Solar we rely, we, yes, we need we rely, yes. We, yes, we rely on it. It's only 5% that you produce out of 100. As we, talk, as we speak now, five out of 100. So if you sit here and tell me there's no doom so, how do you say that nine independent power producers, you, you've clearly said that, that they could not even meet the... Uh, 250 out of 300 megawatts that they produce. Yeah, the, the, the need, we need to. Three, to we need at least yes. I mean, it's 330. <laughs> we have 2,800 as of this morning, and that's yes. just about an hour and 30 minutes Roland, update. This we have. is quite doom. So, look, as we are speaking now, go and see the Northern, Northern Power Authority. For some time now, it is totally dark out. You can't even power your fridge, your, your AC. Where are the people in the, 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 the five Northern region? They will tell you. We are in the total darkness as we speak now. Let nobody deceive you. Do so is back, 
and they are trying to massage it. I heard now, the other time, they said they were doing uh, some maintenance, and it was not doing so, it's rather dark and lovely. And that's where we are. It is clearly, but when we want to speak, they will tell us that we shouldn't, we, we demanded for what? We demanded for timetable. They said we are evil. You recall, you the running mate of the MPP, Napo, told us we are evil to demand uh, this. People, I operate the coastal. People, fish and meat are spoiling. People, business are running down as we speak now. Look, what, we are talking about the whole thing that we are, the, the whole agreement is about paying the IPPs. And they are crying that the dollar to CD is carotting. And as we speak, I am told that even the, 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 the he's talking about the prepaid and postpaid system. I'm told that a company called Hoptel, and Hoptel that is even taking the little money we have, in as much as we, do, we don't have energy. And we know who owes Hoptel. I am even tribal informed. Well, Hoptel has it's come a, out to. No, I was told that it's Dr. Bahumia that owes it. That that no, no, I mean, it's obvious. No, that's, no, that's the reality. No, no. So if Hoptel, if Hoptel comes Clearly, out. I want to disassociate. No, uh, so if. Three, Media general, no, let's, um, let's move on. That, that, that Roland, point has been made. Roland, if Gopsa had come out to say it, I'm not aware. They said that, they just, okay, that's I've just said it the first time, or, or, or honestly. So we are saying, uh, look, why are we in this? This the government is not ready to take care of the private sector. Any private sector that want to grow, that's a, that's a reality. Look, as we speak now, in 2023, uh, our oil revenue, we just, we've got 540 million U, uh, US dollars. And as we speak, you can't even pay IPPs to power our, 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 our energy sector. So we are saying that. You, you clearly said that Dr. Baumia is not the president. Are we not in this country? Who can pay on Doomsa economy? It's not Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. We live in this country when Dr. Baumia was the crusader of, of, uh, of, of Doomsa, when President Mahama had to solve Doomsa, and he went to one of the stations in this country and said President John Damani Mahama has solved Doomsa, but we shouldn't give him credit. So the government is not uh, functional, it doesn't care about energy sector and in any economy that you don't even have, you don't, you don't have enough energy. How do you operate? So that's why industries are, are falling up. As I'm talking to you now, most of the companies are falling up in this country because they can't even pay workers. Because when, you, when your, your company is operating and you can't even have energy uh, power to, to, to power your, your, your businesses, how do you pay your workers? So that's where we are. That is why even in, in creating the unemployment rate and other sector of the economy is collapsing now. So if government, you ask for my advice, if government want to really care about this country, Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya, who had economic management team, and, and his running mate, who has been Minister of Energy, and he just left the ministry, should quickly come together and pay the, IP, uh, the independent power producers, and we can have energy in this country. But I can assure you, President John Dramani Mama has been very worried, had not because of his intervention. This will have happened in even 2023. You recall, in 13 September 2024, President John Dramani Mahama, no, I think he's I'm assigned to be corrected, I, I have that date here, in 2024, uh, 2023, President Mahama have to intervene and speak to IPPs in this country. You look, and came out to speak that they should take time and then take care of this country. That's what we are here now. The people are tired. The IPPs are tired. And if we care about this country, I beg the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana and his running mate, who are critically in charge of this energy sector, should quickly rescue this country. According because to Mr. Money, hospitals are running down. He said that the power cut is not the same. Down, is but I'm telling you, it's not the Roland, same like it is, he, has, he, he will say that because he has issues with the data that came out from the PURC and other credible sources. That is clearly told that he, have, he, have, he, have, he, 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 he didn't believe in the data. You that, clearly said they didn't believe the data that okay, what the system, yes, the system conditions. conditions. Okay. Look, how do we resolve it? Let, let's use three minutes to tackle this. Uh, the immediate one, because um, clearly we, we need to do something about the production to meet the demand, so to speak. So, so clearly the problem is not with the production. I think that issue was, it was solved. The reason why we're having issues with the pr production is because of our inability to pay yeah. the the, uh, the Producers. I think the issue really has to do with the collection. I think one of the major issues yeah, has the, to do with the, the with the with the collection. You understand? Now, my view is that you see the same approach used in solving the productivity issue should also be used in solving the collections issue. Mm. And that's the introduction of the private sector. Mm. Yeah, 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 you understand? The, yeah. the intro, introduction of private sector. I'm damn sure if a private man uh, sells energy to the ministries, the ministries won't be saying that don't pay because they are they are the problem every year mdas eh, don't pay up to 150 million now in our great transformational plan we are saying that when we come the gtp in, yes we are going to uh what's called fall on we are going to create the right development for private sector to introduce private sector into 
the distribution and then and obviously the the the, the collection of 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 revenue as in from from the sale of of energy also like i already said the energy sector recovery pro program as it stands as, in, as i read it with my layman's understanding has practically no issue i think it's a fantastic document and that's why I, when i i, I gave my last submission as i agreed with the the solutions in the energy sector recovery program that my disappointment was in clearly their lack of commitment to mm. follow through the program they themselves have put in place you understand so listen we have the solution i think the solution is in the energy sector recovery program let us show clear commitment mm. to those programs let us follow through those programs you understand? and let's solve the problem we shouldn't be saying that because uh we don't we do not have doing so and and that's a fact we don't have doing so like we had in, 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 when your mama was you know, was was that, that's the fact i can't I'm, 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 no 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 let me let me no let me land let me land let me land let me land, let me land, let me land, let me land. however the symptoms see the symptoms show that if we do not handle these issues we can find ourselves in a worse situation than we were in 2015 you understand because we have debts which are almost at two billion so the same circumstance that caused the the, 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 the so we are heading the end the projection that this that could even reach about a billion tells me that if we do not show that commitment mm, then the 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 conditions that brought the do so you understand are being created and we need leadership that has commitment okay you understand leadership that does not only speak does not only talk but leadership that is action and that leadership is a leadership okay. that honorable and john kojo chamanti will give us should we give him power all right come in, La, in the interim how do we perhaps uh, meet halfway these ipps and their complaints about payments and so that, that is that is the operative word in the interim 259 million debt Minister of Finance needs to prove to us that we have the money there to be able, if for nothing at all, pay half this so that the IPPs can work. If you listened to the, the gentleman from the chamber, he said there are some IPPs who haven't received anything throughout the whole year. Yes. And that shows in the data that you gave us. Now, if they don't receive money to be able to produce the electricity, isn't that brownouts? Isn't that brown house? And anyway, this equalization thing, for me, it doesn't work. Yes, we, were, we went through quite a lot of, we went through a long period of Dumso during the Mahama time. But did he not sort it before leaving? He did. Did he not? He did. Didn't he bring power uh, uh, plants in, which even some of these power plants today has been used eh, to send to other parts of the country? Mm. So let's stop that equalization and let's look at today how we solve this immediate problem. We need to find the money. I think the IPPs, they want to work. I think the IPPs, if you stick by the promise you give them, mm. by paying them a certain quantum and sticking to any plant you put in, they'll produce the electricity. And we won't have to come and sit here and talk what, the way we are talking. Because the basic thing is we need power. Simple straightforward we need the kind of leadership that will commit to the payment of power very very important and if you find that you're not getting the leisure, and I, I, I will bet your bottom peswa eh? the IMF have <coughs> indicated they are going to pay Ghana next next month eh, in December you see the moment they pay us you see what will happen and we hope that when they pay us I, I'm not sure what that money is earmarked for. But if it's earmarked for the energy sector, this should be the first thing government looks at. Because we cannot go into Christmas mm. with Doomsaw, no matter how small the Doomsaw is. Because Roland, during the time we had a, a, a long periods of Doomsaw, when you were approaching your house and lights were off, did you not sigh? Today, when lights go off and you're approaching your house, everywhere is on, you're approaching your, do you not sigh still because lights are off? So, it isn't something that we should think that, oh, because it's not long periods, people are satisfied with. Whatever kind of doomsaw that we experience, 
people are concerned about. Well, so let me read a couple of comments. This one uh, coming from Mr. Keen, who says, um, Last night there was a power outage in parts of Tema, Sakibediako, in Obuasi. There was also light out. It's been going on, on and off. For me, because of the nature of my work, I have to rely on generators, which is fair because I use it to work. All right. And then also um, we have Kizito Tamais, who says, uh, where is the Esla receipt, which, which was supposed to have accrued and supposedly take care of the energy sector legacy debt? All right. Very um, oh, yeah. critical issues also yes. being raised. Uh, I have this one from Sam P. Yali, who said in 2016, the complaint was that John Mahama was incompetent because he could not find money to buy fuel. Today, what's the problem now? All right. And then also, let me just uh, read one more uh, before we go for the break. This one is um, coming from Master Planner Jr. And he says... Dr. Baumia has started some of the solar agenda already. Solar outboard motor on trial at Tapam in the central region yesterday, where people think it is impossible. Dr. Baumia says it is possible. And so we, we did that story. Uh, we're talking about um, also production of power. So let me just um, read a last one coming from Mr. Mike. A flu who sent us this one, uh, Mr. Mike A flu also says, Doomsaw, Doomsaw is ongoing. Even yesterday, our lights went up for five hours here in Kofodia. It's being done in bits and pieces. The experiences are there. And so once you have shortfall, it certainly would mean that you are going to have difficulties. Thank you, gentlemen, for passing through. Mr. Moni? Oh, we should be Yes. Well, like, <laughs> the panel is It's just one hour, sorry. Kwame Janto as well, okay. and uh, Mr. Manurubi. Did I pronounce it well? Oh, how do you pronounce it? Manurubi. Yeah. All right. So let's tell you about why this election season, which we're just about 15 days to go, is going beyond headlines being 3news.com and stories being there to update you more and more so our special election portal brings you historical results insight into Ghana's voting patterns and all the election data you need including live voting updates on election day now our interactive maps and detailed analysis will help help you stay fully informed also get all your election information up to date as you get them on election across the country for ghana 3news.com elections please make sure you log in all right your one-stop elections portal you can find it and once you navigate it you can have everything there and we have star 439 hash it is cash out 